There's a video on how to use the peel and stick varus posts. I'll also go how to use the valgus posts as well. But the varus posts were designed to take the place of an orthotic in that orthotics for people who pronate are incredibly effective. Patient satisfaction rates are really high with them. But a study came out recently in 2020, a 12-week study that showed that when people wore orthotics daily for 12 weeks, they had a 17% atrophy of their abductor hallucis muscle and a 10% atrophy of their flexor digitorum brevis muscle, which was consistent prior researcher from JOSPT, Journal of Orthopedic and Sports Physical Therapy, which I'll put these references up that showed that long-term orthotic users were more likely to have toe weakness. Toe weakness is a big deal because it correlates with plantar fasciitis, impaired performance, impaired jump height, and predicts falls in the elderly. One of the reasons that happened, and again, I, I love orthotics, I use them all the time, is that the arch support of an orthotic can offload the abductor hallucis muscle so much that it weakens over time. So different researchers have done studies where they took conventional orthotics that were just flat insoles and measured three-dimensional motion in the lower extremity. And then they did the same thing where they measured three-dimensional motion w after adding varus posts, which tilt the entire orthotic. So there's two components to an orthotic. The arch support component of it, which research is showing may not necessarily be the best thing, and the varus or valgus post component. Those are angled wedges. When you put an angled wedge under someone's foot, it decelerates the velocity of the foot pronates, it decelerates the degree that the tibia turns in, the de degree that the knee and hip turn in. It also alters stress in the knee, offloads the muscles. So after I read that research, I said, rather than support the arch, I'm just gonna use the wedges. And a few years ago, someone came out with an amazing paper where they just looked at the effect of the shell versus the wedge. And the wedges do the same thing. They alter motion, they decelerate velocity, they, they decrease the velocity of internal rotation of the knee even, which is predictive of patellar tendinopathy. So to use these things, and the nice thing is orthotics cost $400, and these are just really simple and easy to use. They're also extremely lightweight, which is important for runners. So to use this, we've got a left foot here. They go on very easily. This has a varus post to it. It's angled four degrees like this. You'll just place it over the forefoot to support the metatarsal heads. So it's gonna support all these metatarsal heads by lifting up like this. And then you do the same thing with the rear foot. You just place this here. Now, as with all the other peel and stick balances, just so you get placement right, you will put it where you want it. Again, the self-adhesive glue on this is pretty strong and you just make a couple of lines where you want it. You can circle the whole thing. I've done this so much that I, I just have to mark the top and the side. And then once you get that outline down, it's really as simple as just pulling the peel and stick self-adhesive back off of this, comes right off. That's a powerful glue, so when you put it on, put it on lightly at first to make sure you got it in the right spot. And then the same thing here, you peel the peel and stick back off, the self-adhesive pad is there. You put it right like that. And again, I'll put up the references and some illustrations showing just how these things work. So once you have it in the right spot, you push it down with moderate force, moderate force, and then you're done. You've got a four degree wedge built on the insole, will de decelerate the degree of the foot everts or pronates, will decelerate tibial internal rotation, femur. They also showed that this is really good for managing um, plantar fascial injuries. Plantar fascial injuries uh, do respond well to decreasing the velocity of pronation, but um, it's just an easy way to get the same effect of, with an orthotic without the expense or the risk of muscle atrophy.